hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Amazing Seller Podcast. This is episode number 749. My name is Scott Volker, and I'm here to help you build a future-proof business so you can live the ultimate freedom. But there's always a but. You have to take what you learn in this podcast and take it. Action, and you can become the amazing seller of your life. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Well, here's what we're going to be doing today. I am going to be walking you through the 90-day roadmap to building a successful brand. And I'm going to give you a detailed plan and some exercises that you can do. And this is going to come straight out of the book that I have recently written called The Take Action effect. And the reason why I'm doing this, well, a couple of different reasons. The time of this podcast episode airing, which should be November 11th, I am just wrapping up the recording sessions that I just got back from in San Diego. But the time that I'm recording this, I'm actually heading there. So it's kind of weird, right? I'm recording this before I'm heading there, but this is airing after I get back. So when you're listening to this, uh, that book is should be completed as far as the audiobook version. And what I wanted to do today, because I'm in this whole mode of recording the book, I wanted to pull a part of the book out. And this is after we kind of go through all of the mindset stuff and then we go through really unpacking your your life, your journey, and then what you are really, really good at. And then we take that and apply it to building a business. And what I wanted to do, because I do this in the book, is give you that 90-day roadmap, all right? And that's what we're going to be doing. Now, if you have not grabbed your copy yet, well, you're going to want to head over to takeactioneffect.com, grab your copy there. The other thing is, uh, well, depending on when you're listening to this, this will be available soon on Audible. So it'll be in an audiobook form. I've had a lot of people say, Scott, you're a podcaster. Why don't you have an audible uh, you know, book yet? Or why don't you have an audio book yet? And that's a great question. The thing is, is I wanted to do this in two phases because writing the book was one big chunk that I had to do, like one big thing. And then now recording the book, it's not as easy as just sitting down and doing this and kind of like, you know, free flying here. We uh, we actually got to sit down and go through the book and read through the book. And the cool thing about doing the audio book as well is you're able to jump off script. You're able to give some of those stories that might not have made it in the book for whatever reason. Maybe I wasn't thinking of it as I was recording uh, or as I was writing the book, but as I was recording it, it brought something up. So a lot of times, that's what I like about Audible or audio books is being able to um, to listen to the author expound a little bit more. So again, if you're interested, you're going to want to go to takeactioneffect.com and that will uh, take you to where you can grab a copy, whether paperback, hardcover, or depending on when you're listening, the audiobook could be there as well at that time. There's also the Kindle version uh, available that you can also download and, uh, and look on your favorite Kindle device. All right, so this is what we're going to do. And I did this actually a few episodes back. I actually went through and read the intro to the book because I was kind of like prepping and practicing. Uh, and I will drop that in the show notes to this episode, which can be found at theamazingseller.com forward slash 749. But what I'm going to do here today, very similar to what I did in that episode, is I am going to read this part of the book. All right. And then I'm going to take you through that 90 day roadmap to success, okay? And that's really what it's titled, and this is at the very end of the book. So I put together a 90-day roadmap to success, and then I also did a quick action step where you can actually go through this uh, a little bit faster, all right? But I do give the detailed roadmap, all right? So here we go, all right? And uh, we are going to start reading this, and from there, we will dig into this 90-day roadmap. So here we go. All right, so here we go. 90-Day Roadmap to Success. By now, you know that you can start taking action at any point on your journey. You don't have to figure everything out at once, though. The only way to learn this process is to do it. Don't worry about wasting time or trying to get everything perfect right away. If something doesn't validate the way you want it to or work out the way you'd hoped, find the lesson in it and start over. And this time, you'll know the process better. You'll have built up those skills to be able to do it again. Now, this is where I would jump off script because 
building that skill set is so darn important. And when I think back of all of the different things that I've done to build up those skill sets, those I still use to this day. And it doesn't matter if it's, well, things I've learned in the construction field that now I can still use to this day, right? Or maybe it's learning Photoshop all the way back when I was in the photography business and learning that. And now I have that skill set. I have that that skill that I can then leverage and use over and over and over again. So again, I talk about this in the book a lot for you to be able to uncover that, that skill set that you've, that you've really built, that you've created for yourself. So again, it's really important that you understand you are building up a skill set, no matter if it works or if it doesn't. All right, let's get back to it. Use this 90 day sprint to get moving and keep moving, follow it all the way through or use it as a launching pad to send you off in the direction that works for you and your market. While you can modify this to work from any stage, it works best for someone just starting out. Check the quick action step if you have an existing business or if you're feeling overwhelmed by the steps here. All right, so again, I'm going to jump off script. I'm giving you this as if you were starting something from scratch or what I should add here as well, if you're starting from scratch about building a brand externally. If you already have a brand, you still might want to go through this because this here could help you uh, actually identify what you should be working on in your existing brand, all right? But uh, again, the quick action step guide there is for those people. All right, so here we go. Discovery, weeks one through three, days one through three. Identify what market are you interested in or passionate about. Spend some time with your vision board and mind maps to figure out what you've enjoyed in the past, what you know about now, and what you'd like to spend time exploring. Days four through seven, niche. Narrow your market down to something specific. You don't just like to fish, you like to bass fish in ponds. You don't just garden, you grow indoor succulents. Keep narrowing down until you have something specific you can start with. Days 8 through 14, validate. How are physical and digital products selling in that space? Look around. Don't exclude any platforms from this stage. The goal here is to see whether there's an income generating potential in this space. Look for the top sellers, websites, ads, affiliate links, any types of products. Days 15 through 21, locate. Which platforms are people using? Where is your market hanging out? Again, even if you think you won't ever record a video in your life, don't limit your exploration here. How are people showing up in the market? Are they primarily on YouTube or Instagram? Is there a big market on Amazon? Think about what your market needs and how they're looking for solutions. Important, if at any point you realize your initially identified market can't be validated, start over. You want to get this right. Planning, weeks two through four. Days 22 through 30, replicate. Who is crushing it in this market? Which influencers can you learn from? Take some time here to look at the best of the best. You won't copy them directly, but you have a lot to learn from them. Follow them, get on their newsletters, and take notes. Again, I'm going to jump off script here. All we're doing, we're modeling someone else that's already done it. It's very similar as if we were finding a product that's selling on Amazon. We're letting Amazon tell us that people are buying the product, so they're validating that product for us, all right? So again, I just wanted to kind of clarify that. All right, let's get back to it. Days 31 through 35, personalize. What channel or medium would be easiest for you to be authentic and consistent? Now it's time to think about your strengths. It's hard to commit to something you're miserable doing and you didn't set out to be miserable, right? Do you enjoy speaking? Are you comfortable on camera? Do you like to write? Be honest with yourself. What will you enjoy working on as a side hustle and eventually as your full-time gig? Days 36 through 50, prioritize. Discover top content in your niche and decide what to publish first. Go back and look at the top players in your niche, again, even outside of your medium. Figure out what their top content to identify the topics that you need to tackle first. Turn these topics into a map that you'll follow to begin building up your content library. Creation. 
weeks three through five, days 51 through 60. Offer, what lead magnet you can create for email list building? Could you create a contest or giveaway that people would want to enter to win a prize? Would a mini ebook be helpful? Maybe a step-by-step PDF guide? What about a printable checklist? Think about something that you can offer them in exchange for getting on your newsletter. Remember, you don't ever have to hold back. Be generous with your information and your audience will love you for it. Days 61 through 80, build. Create a website slash blog as a home base to send people to from your platforms. Now it's time to put it all together. Your home base is how you ensure your business lasts no matter what the algorithms and platforms decide to do. Even if you've decided to start with Amazon, still use your website as a platform for content and ads and to gather your audience for your newsletter. Days 81 through 90, commit. Create a plan and commit to being consistent. This is where the rubber meets the road. Consistency makes this work, even when there are setbacks, even when something doesn't work. Make a plan for what you're going to do and when you're going to work on it. Then stick with it. A year from now, you're going to be amazed at what you've accomplished. And that is the end of the 90-day roadmap. Now, I'm going to jump off script. This is super important, that last part. And I know some of you might be thinking, but Scott, like, why do I need to wait 90 days to to get all of that done? Here's the deal. I have found that, yes, you could probably cut this in half if you've already identified your market. If you've already done some validation, you could cut that in half. Or maybe you can automatically start setting up your website or start setting up where you're going to be posting content earlier. But I have found that people just don't have the clarity. Once they have the clarity, then we can create that roadmap. And so as you're going through this, you kind of see like how I kind of mapped all of that out. So if all you did for the next 90 days was follow this, I mean, all the way down to what you're working on for days 51 through 60, right? You're going to be able to know what you're working on and kind of coming back to what I said there at the end in the commitment part of this or the consistency part of this is a lot of people don't know what they're working on when they sit down, right? And when they dedicate an hour. So what I want you to do is I want you to map this stuff out. I want you to literally go through and map out every single thing that you're going to be working on over the next 90 days. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go into another part of the book, which is at the very, very end. And it's the quick action step, okay? And then this way here, you can pick which one is best for you right now. Quick action step. Maybe this sounds like too much to you. Maybe you already have a business or an identified market and don't feel like you need to start from scratch. Here's what you can do. Every week for 52 weeks, make one new piece of content. You can talk about your discovery process as you learn or try something new. You can talk about the day-to-day of your business. You can break down things your customers need to know. The important thing is to consistently make new content every week. If you don't feel like you have something to say, review products. Use an affiliate link for them whenever you can. You don't have to worry about scripting and don't worry about taking a bunch of time. If you're not comfortable on video, do the same thing on your blog. If you do record a video, you can leverage that content by putting it on both YouTube and turning it into a blog article. After 52 weeks, you'll have a content library building up new traffic, and I guarantee at least one of those will stick. Watch for the biggest traffic generators that might give you a clue about new ways to niche down. So that is a quick action step, guys. If you already have a business up and running, you might already have a website and a blog. And actually, there's a guy right now that's part of our Brand Creators Academy, and he has exactly that. When he was thinking about joining, he emailed me, actually messaged me on Facebook and said, I need this because I have a seven-figure business on Amazon only. And I know I need to do this other thing, but I just don't know what I should do. And so I dug in a little bit to his business and he has a website set up, 
but there's nothing on it other than the same stuff that's on his store page on Amazon. So he's got the thing built, but now what we need to do is start adding to it. And if you just follow this 52 weeks of content, one per week, I don't know who can't carve out time to do that. Like I said earlier, you need to figure out what your strengths are right now. Is it writing? Is it video? Is it uh, maybe audio? You can find a way to publish a piece of content on either a blog, a website, either on a YouTube channel, like you can figure out a way. But the biggest thing here is commitment. Commitment. You got to make the commitment. You got to be consistent. So again, 52 weeks. That's one per week. Now, I would like to see more, but if I can get you in that mindset, what's going to happen? You're going to start to get some momentum. You're going to start to learn this process. You're going to build up that skill like we talked about, and you're going to do more. And the more that we put out there, the more chances we have of being found, right? So that's what we're doing here. So there is the 90-day roadmap. You can take bits and pieces of that if you want. Or you can take that quick action step that I just gave you that you can just start that immediately, all right? So now, I want to give you, again, the link to the book if you have not grabbed it. I really feel as though you can go through this book and you can take whatever part of it and plug it into your existing business or a business you want to start. So if you have not grabbed a copy, I'm going to give you a little shameless plug here. TakeActionEffect.com is where you'll find that. You're also going to find in the book, there's additional resources that I'm including. You'll find that link in the book, all right? And then the other thing that I would say, and I would encourage you, that if you have not been through our brand creators checklist, where we actually help you validate a market, your market, help you niche down, help you explore these different opportunities, then you definitely want to check out brandcreators.com. And if you go there, you're going to find a couple of videos that I've put together. They're training videos and then also a PDF that you can download. It's a checklist that'll walk you through this validation process. All right. So with that all being said, guys, I am super excited because, well, the audiobook's going to be ready here soon and I'll be letting you guys know more about that. But I am just loving, loving this process and really being able to go through this process with so many other brand creators. And it's just amazing. And I'm excited. And, uh, you know, I've said this before. If you're not excited about what you're doing, it's going to get old, right? And sometimes you got to shift. Sometimes you got to pivot. And if you guys are longtime listeners, you know that I started this podcast just documenting my journey about launching a product on Amazon and then launching multiple products on Amazon. And then here we are four and a half years later. And I've written a book. I've had a conference, that conference was called Brand Accelerator Live, which we're going to do it again, brandaccelerator.live.com, check that out, and the book is all about building a brand, and that's where my focus is, that's where I'm excited now, so again, that's what I'm doing, hopefully you'll join me, definitely make sure that you grab these resources, takeactioneffect.com, that is the book, and then from there, I would also recommend brandcreators.com, grab the free resources over there. All right, guys, so that's it. That's going to wrap it up. As always, remember, I'm here for you. I believe in you, and I am rooting for you. But you have to. You have to. Come on, say it with me. Say it loud. Say it proud. Take action. Have an awesome, amazing day. I'll see you right back here on the next episode.